Oh no, look at her lip. One of these. Roll the dice, baby. We gotta act fast. I'm just looking for a couple items that we need. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Who, what, when, and why am I doing this? Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. Something was supposed to happen in five days, but it came a lot sooner. So there's a bunch of things that we have to do, and uh, we're not messing around. Uh, I got really no time to spare because I want things to be done the right way, and we're really going to try to make it work. So you guys are coming along with me. It's a serious time right now. See, look at the face. Serious face. Let's go. Quick emergency stop at PetSmart. Let's go. Let's see here. Here we go. Promise you guys, this is gonna be a really fast trip. I'm just looking for a couple items that we need that's gonna help us out. This is what, yeah, we're gonna grab this one right here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get this. 35 bucks, what the heck. This is the Fluval M100 for 30 gallons. All right, guys, we're out of here. Thank you, PetSmart. And I'll see you guys at the house. Like I said, guys, we are not messing around. We gotta act fast. I'm kind of in a rush, guys. Mrs. Hawaiian Fish Keeper is probably gonna be mad at me. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta just roll the dice, baby. When is the I mean, isn't there a saying that says fish before family? Or is it family before fish? Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one it is. Maybe it just depends on the day. Let's get to work. All right, let's get one of these. Two by four by eight. Boom. I told you guys it's my serious face. When I'm breaking out the saw and I'm cutting up some wood, serious. I'm just kidding, let's go. We got a cinder block under the stand here, Maui and Moana, and we're gonna grab this second one and lay it down in here too as well. As you can see, it fits perfect. And just like that, we just created a stand for another tank. Quick intermission break. Wanna give a huge shout out to the Tatao Ohana. You guys are a part of my Ohana. Be a part of the Tatao Ohana, all right? I'll put the website right here. Go check them out. You won't be disappointed. They have the coolest hats, shirts, hoodies, tank tops, long sleeve shirts, women's apparel. They have everything from the socks. They have everything to like hats. I mean, from the rooter to the tutor, they got you covered. You won't be disappointed. Go check out the site. I'm telling you, they have the freshest gear. Check out this original Tatao brand shirt. I'm telling you, man. They have the flyest gear but not only that though they produce banging merch they produce banging merch i produce banging videos that's where we kind of connect so go check them out do me a favor right be a part of the ohana thank you to tell for supporting the channel i appreciate you guys look at that huh it's a perfect fit we a nice little stand underneath maui and moana i know you guys are probably wondering who what when and why am i doing this well, if you're new to the channel, I have two flower horns, a male and a female, Maui and Moana. They're actually turning into like the channel favorite, which isn't shocking to me. They are pretty cool, but they had a batch of eggs. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up above. Click on that card. You can watch that video, get caught up. So I was making my rounds, checking out the fish, giving them some food, and then lo and behold, I see this. Well, well, looky here, guys, she did it again. If you guys don't know, this is my female fader flower horn, Moana, and this is her man, Maui, my super red dragon flower horn. And uh, yeah, this is another batch of eggs. I had to separate them. You notice the divider was up. They got into a pretty brutal fight. So I had to separate them again. Thank God I, I saw it, you know? And, and so, yeah, so we got the divider up and uh, she laid a massive bunch of eggs. I mean, more than the last time. Well, matter of fact, I think she's still laying eggs. Let's see if we can see her on camera. Oh, I think she just dropped one off right there. Ooh, ooh, look at, yes. Yeah, she's laying more eggs, guys. God, you don't understand how like amazing this is to catch on video. It's, it gets me every time. So we're gonna let her finish laying her eggs and I'm going to introduce Maui back to her and let's uh, see what happens, guys. Here we go, as they say in Clash of the Titans. 
Release the Kraken! Okay, so this is the part that gets me so nervous. The anticipation. What are they going to do? Are they going to lip lock? Are they going to chew each other's scales off? I'm going to give you guys the play-by-play. -play. Hey, what's up, boy? Maui, I haven't seen you for a minute. Let me swish you with my fins. Oh, hey, what's up, girl? Gosh, I haven't seen you for a while. I know we had this wall in the middle of us, but uh, I'm glad homeboy broke it down for us to get reacquainted. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I just laid some eggs, and I'm not feeling really good but you know it's really nice to see you uh you want to hang out sometime well let's do something else and hang out girl <laughs> so why don't you guys do me a favor hey hit that like button if you guys like that little ad lib scene that i just made up as you can see her she's kind of pushing them away like she's guarding her eggs like hey get away so right now maui's saying oh girl i'm sorry about the fight we got into a little earlier you know you're the only girl for me i mean you know i, I was just feeling a little insecure and you know how it is you know being a man and all i'm sorry babe i didn't mean I mean, you know, if you give me another chance, I, I promise I'll make it up to you, girl. I'll give you the old smoochy smooch kissy wissy. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What'd you say about my mom's cooking? Wait, what did you say? Good, then get the hell out of my life. Who needs you? Beat it. Leave me alone. Oh, my goodness. Uh, wow, sorry about that, guys. But as you can see, uh, yeah, I had to separate these two. Uh, they got into a in pretty intense lip lock, and I, I don't want to put any stress on these two again, right? So we went ahead and just separated them, and... Um, you know what, Maui, man? Just do your job, man. And how about you just uh, fertilize these eggs for us? I mean, come on, Maui. I mean, they are literally on a plate for you to fertilize. Come on. Moana is like, whatever. I did all the work. Well, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what he does, guys. I mean, haven't seen him do anything yet lately. Uh, at least he's not eating them. I, well, uh, maybe he is going to eat them now. My poor Moana girl, look at her lip with that intense lip locking. It's all like red. You see, it's reddish. Oh, poor thing. I gave her some pellets to cheer her up, preoccupy her, you know. She's eating them, so I know she's hungry. Um, I gave him some pellets too as well, so I just don't want him eating the eggs or trying to keep him on a full belly. Uh, we'll see what happens, guys. You know, um, hopefully he fertilizes these eggs and... Uh, we shall see little baby fish and Moana. She still has her egg tube out. So I don't know if she's going to lay eggs on this side. Um, but, you know, she seems OK. She's doing fine. So let's get back into the present footage now. We got to try to get that tray of eggs. Uh, looks like yeah, it's kind of covered in sand. It doesn't look good. You can see a lot of solid white eggs. As you can see, solid white means they are not fertilized. But I also do see a lot of. Uh, eggs that are still there that sand is covering so it looks like fungus is starting to grow on them so I got to get them out of there and what we're going to do is grab this dish stick it in here have the aeration or the bubbles kind of hit the eggs and hopefully we can save them so we are filling this up with the python uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw some prime in there some dechlorinator you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna pour a little out for the homies you know we don't need to measure it. Ah, that'll work. This is only a 20 gallon tank. And what we're gonna do for filtration on this is, we're gonna go ahead and borrow this filter from renovation here on his side of the tank. Uh, don't worry, we have an AquaClear 110 here too as well. Um, but this right here is ready to go. Beneficial bacteria in the sponge. And this is a Sun Sun. Uh, it's good for 50 gallons of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and stick it in that tank. All right, guys, so we got our air stone. I actually went with the smaller air stone. That bigger one was just too big. Uh, a lot of air bubbles in there, but we got our fluval heater and then, of course, our Sun Sun submersible filter. We're going to go ahead and carefully take that tray of eggs and stick it down into this tank. And we're going to try to position this air bubble, this bubbler, to where the air is kind of flowing over the eggs. So uh, let's go ahead and try to do that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so getting the dish wasn't that hard. I just used the net and kind of blocked Maui from biting me. I want to show you guys all the black sand that's in this dish uh, that Maui kicked up. So I'm going to slowly lower it down and get the black sand from on top of the eggs. Don't worry, the eggs are extremely sticky. They're sticking to the plate. I just wanted to show you how I dust this off. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Now, it took me a while to kind of mess with the uh, airline hose, and but we managed to make it work. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, 
I don't know if these are fertile. As you can see, they're almost, I mean, all of them pretty much for the most part are all white. And you can see some of the eggs down at the bottom, kind of, you can see there's fungus on them. Sorry, you guys can't really see them, but I can kind of see them. If you look close here, you can kind of see some of the fungus growing on the eggs but we'll see you know maybe there might be a straggler maybe there might be a two or three maybe four fry that survive um but the most important part is we got this set up here underneath maui and moana as you can see them yeah look at them look at them look at them they want a piece of each other she's probably really pissed because her eggs are gone you can see there's some eggs there on the uh, rock some on the gravel on the substrate there at the bottom but these are the ones I was worried about. So we'll see what happens, guys. Second batch of eggs. And if it doesn't happen, it's okay. I'm a firm believer in third time's a charm. But not only that, though, I feel a lot more confident that we have that tank ready to go now. I was a little rushed because um, the eggs came early. She wasn't supposed to have the eggs for another five more days. I have it marked in my calendar. It's kind of weird, but I do. So this next time, if it happens, I'm ready to go. I have the system down, we'll separate her from her eggs, we'll put Maui on that side. Hopefully he fertilizes them, I'm not going to leave them in that long. Normally they say 24 to 48 hours, I think I left them a little bit closer to 48 hours. You can see there was a little fungus growing on them, so we'll see. Um, I'll take that egg tray out, I'll stick it down on the lower level, run the bubbles over the eggs. That way fungus won't be growing on them and uh, hopefully we have a healthy batch. So if it doesn't happen this time, it's definitely, I can't say definitely, but we have better chances of having fry on the third batch i'll keep you guys posted though don't worry but right now somebody over here is calling me and it's right there yeah tiki falls especially like right there because that is the waterfall spillway so if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and next to that subscribe button is a little bell turn that bell on it's a notification bell it's going to notify you when i put out another video which is Tiki Falls and the waterfall. You don't want to miss that one. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. Ciao.